Hi, my name is David Bales, product manager here at Pioneer Cycle Sports. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your power meter onto your bike. One of the most common questions we get is whether to use magnets or not. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install our crank set as a power meter without magnets to pair to any Amp Plus cycle computer. Before we start, we're going to need the following tools. This is a Shimano uh, crank removal tool. This is a 5mm hex uh, bike tool and a 5mm head on a torque wrench. So to start, we're going to put the drive side on right through the bottom bracket here. Go ahead and grab the chain, get that on the crank to secure it. And we'll go on over to the left side, install the left arm. All right, now that we have the drive side crank installed, we're gonna go ahead and put the left side crank arm on. Just slip it on. Go ahead and put the Shimano crank cap on. That's where this little Shimano tool comes in handy. And we're just going to go finger tight. We're not going to go too tight. Let's get it on here fairly snug. Now with our five millimeter, we're going to work one side till it gets, again, just finger tight. Come on around, do the other side. Basically just finger tight. Other side again. One more time. Now that we're uh, tightened down, we're gonna be, wanna be sure we lock the crank arm to the axle with this little piece here. Very important. And from here we go with our torque wrench and go ahead and tighten it down to Shimano spec. Okay, now that we have the power meter uh, installed on the bike, we're going to go ahead and give it a quick spin to wake up uh, using the accelerometers in the system, wake up the sensors. Um, this is our GPS cycle computer. Just about all of them have a place for sensors, and in this case, we found it. Uh, we want to search for, a, for power. We're going to search for an amp plus power meter. Uh, it found us right away, number four, and that corresponds to the ANT ID on this particular power meter. You can find that ANT ID on the side of the left sensor. We're going to go ahead and hit enter and add that. So now that we're pairing, and we're paired, we're set to go. Next step, and very important, we want to calibrate the power meter. And to do that, we want to make sure that the crank arms are set at the 12 and 6 position. Doesn't matter which side, we're just taking any force off of the strain gauges um, that would be power. So 12 and 6, calibrate, enter, and all we're looking for is success. We got it, and we're set to go. Thanks for watching.